Hello everyone. My name is Ms. Baba Charles. And first I would like to say welcome back to another Apostles of Muchinjikwa podcast. We hope that you've managed to watch all the previous episodes and that they've been of some help to you as you've listened and you've grown in your journey in getting closer to God. So for this week, the topic that we wish to discuss is the unification of Masowe or the coming together of Masowe. So for some of you who might realize in Masowe there are many different branches when it comes to Giovanni Masowe. So initially when Baba Giovanni left, he left some people and he left many different kinds of people that he had preached to and he had taught in many different kinds of places. Naturally, this would create some sort of branches in those places and teachings would become different and principles would become different. But fundamentally in Master, where you get the core values of which everyone has and which we share amongst ourselves. So the one of the things that we were taught by the Holy Spirit when it first revealed itself to us and the leader who as I previously stated, that they were not born in Masowe, they did not grow up in Masowe, the teachings that they had were not anywhere in Masowe. In fact, he was someone who looked down on Masowe. And, but when the Holy Spirit gave him the, releva- the revelation that he has to go and pray to Ma- in Masowe because the, that's where the Holy Spirit wants him to do the works. So the Holy Spirit said that, I'm going to give you the name Muchinjikwa. And your your branch shall be called Apostles of Muchinjikwa. So Muchinjikwa, when you look at it, and it said you've got all the corners of the cross and they all then come together at the center. So the Holy Spirit was said that this is what I've been sent to do, to bring everything together and to put it back into the center. And you come to realize, in Maso, you've got branches such as Nguo Chuku, which they call um, sort of the red cloth. You've got the ones that they say Nyanyezi, which is one that was standed by Baba Sandros, which can be loosely translated to the star in English. And the red cloth was started by um, what we call Baba Micho. And you've got like Chishanu as well, which is pretty much just the general term that can be used to apply to my posters. And you've got like Joani Marange as well. So when you come to our services and you come to visit us, you'll find that there are many different branches that are all just meshed into one. And the Holy Spirit said this when it first came. All of them are my children. So for when I, a father, have come, it's not for me to choose that these are mine and these are not. But when you all come together, know that you are coming to your father and you're coming to the Holy Spirit. And when I see all of you, I will treat all of you as my children. And there's no one that I will say this is above the other and this is the one that is correct and this is the one that is wrong. But we're going to unify all of you together. So that is sort of a history behind the comings of the name of Apostles of Muchinjikwa that the messenger was revealed to by God. And if you look at the whole story behind the coming together of Masowe, you realize that unless we do come together, we will never be able to fulfill the works of God. We will never be able to fulfill what but by Giovanni had prophesied or will never be able to fulfill the desire of the Holy Spirit because what the Holy Spirit wants from us is being able to call to the world and for the world to hear our voice and therefore the voice of the Lord that's saying, repent and come back to me because that is what we are trying to achieve. And in order to let the world hear us, we need to be able to have one voice, one collective voice that stands for all of us, that stands for the Holy Spirit so that the world might be able to hear us. And this just brings me back a memory of when I traveled back to Zimbabwe and we're coming from the airport going to where we lived. And you could see in that in that long road, there were many different apostles that were there and they were so close to each other. And the question came was, why is it that apostles, you can speak with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit uses you, but you can have the Holy Spirit speaking at one space and then a few meters down the line and a few meters down the line again. 
So the Holy Spirit was saying that in order for the Holy Spirit to accomplish what it wants, this cannot stand and you will never be able to reach the full potential of the works of the Holy Spirit if you do not come together. So this is what the Lord was trying to say unto us. And this is mainly one of the main drives and the purposes of Apostles of Muchinjikwa is that religions must come together and must, so we must come together if we are to speak of the word of God. And so this is what Apostles of Muchinjikwa are trying to do. And even now, especially if you look in places such as like Europe, I don't know all of Europe, but for example, in the UK, you see that some churches are getting transformed into pubs or into nightclubs. And this is mainly because people don't go to church anymore. People don't fear the Lord anymore. People would rather satisfy their own needs and satisfy the needs of the world that they have instead of trying to satisfy and to understand what God wants from us. So if we as people of God want to be able to overcome this world, then we must be able to come together. Only through then would we be able to actually get more people to come back to God. And you see that it's going to be a struggle unless we have one voice, such as in Parliament. You get people saying that they don't want prayers in Parliament anymore or in schools, that we should, it's not fair or it's discriminatory to other people. But this can also be a way that people perceive religion now to be a backwards term. They perceive, which is unfortunate, that they think that believing in God is something that's backwards when it's something that is our future and only through God would we be able to actually have a future. So for in order for us to help to fight against this kind of stuff and to change the narrative and to give them a sower narrative and to give a religious narrative, it means we need to be able to come together so that we can spread the word of God. And people might wonder, well, why is it that my soul, this happens so much and why is there so many of them? And it's a simple reason, to be honest. It's just the fault of men and the egos of that we have as human beings. And so it's so much easier to do that because when we pray, we pray in, a, in, in the wilderness, in the ground which no one owns and which is not rented by anyone. Which means for you to effectively start your own so where you actually do not need a large amount of capital and you do not need a large amount of resources. You just need a ground and just what you're going to say to people and what you're saying that the Holy Spirit is leading you to do while on the other case if you were to go to like in a Roman Catholic church in order for you to split off and to create your own branch you would need land you would need to build something for people to actually come into so there's a lot more amount of resources that will be required and this is just something that we decided to speak for, for this week to just to get the message out there to any that might listen, to any that might answer, to any that might be willing. That the Holy Spirit is saying that we have to be to unify and we have to come together so that we can achieve what the Lord is saying. So this is a message to anyone who's willing to respond. This is a message to anyone who's willing to answer the call of the Holy Spirit that let us come together so we can do what the Lord is asking for us. Because at the end of the day, the Holy Spirit is one. So when we do the works of the Holy Spirit, we should do it as one. And we should call on every people of God to come together so that we can achieve what the Holy Spirit wants from us. And with that, I will leave you for this week's podcast. And I hope it has been of some help to you and help to clear your understanding of the Holy Spirit, to, under to clear your understanding of my soul. And if there is any questions, please do not be hesitant to contact us. And we are more than willing to answer your questions and just to help you in your journey to getting closer to God. And with that, I say thank you and glory be to God.